Hey yo guys, I'm sending a hope ko poni ko fiti and I thank God for everything. Karibu ni sana in our today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by and thank you for clicking this video. My good name is Polly J. Hibanuya. Karibu sana. And if you're a returning subscriber, I'm in a gang gang. Karibu sana and I love you all so, so much. So guys, in our today's video, there's something that I've been wanting to speak for the longest, longest time. Though, it's not like I didn't speak about it. I've spoken in, about it in several videos, but I've been getting so, so many requests and so many questions about the same thing and why not that's why i've decided to shoot this video at night actually it's really at night because it's 10 30 pm right now it's at night and yeah why not if i have the information why can't i share with someone who really need it so i've been getting so many requests and i was like you know what just doing a video will get to help many people just more than maybe replying to all the messages so that is why i am here today just grab a cup of coffee just grab your seat sit down relax and enjoy because i know you will get a point or two and if this video is informative to you if this video is good if you feel like it has helped you kindly please do not forget to like it share with a friend and also subscribe if you haven't so that being said please let's just go straight to it so guys this is it I have been getting so many questions about like what is the importance of be having a bank account before you come to the gulf okay so many people have been traveling coming here without any bank account or maybe they did not prepare themselves enough like to have that time or maybe they did not have the thought of maybe having a bank account while back at home so this is why i am doing this video and i hope that it will help you first of all it is important for you to have a bank account and it is also much much good if that account is from your own country because you know here anything can happen and sometimes for making that follow up with the money and maybe you're not in the country or maybe you're here sometimes it might be hard so why should you have a bank account number one it will help you save you know when you have a bank account like you know my savings will go to this particular place after every month after i get the money that i have been getting or after i get my salary i know very well my savings will be safe like i have somewhere to put my money in number two which kind of account can you open or what account can help you i always give advice from what i know and what i do not know i don't advise from okay so whatever i tell you here is what maybe i do not maybe what i really do or what i have tried and has worked good for me so that you will choose for yourself so i always advise people if you're coming here before you come right now you know like i have gone to the agent i have done this this and that i'm waiting for my visa now that is the perfect time for you to open a bank account if you don't if you don't have okay so make sure when you're coming here at least you have a bank account which is very very important and you have it you will thank me later because you will know what to do next because you know ban back in kenya like so many people they don't have that need like so many people doesn't think like it is important for them to have a bank account especially if what you're earning is earned to mouth okay i understand the situation but when you're coming here as long as you know you'll be having some cash or maybe you'll have be having an income every month it is important for you to have it so i always advise people like just open a bank account whereby it doesn't give you uh what do you call it, it you don't get the atm card just make sure that the account that you open doesn't have any atm card and if it has make sure that you leave it back at home and uh, even if you will hide it just put it somewhere you know it is only you and only you can take it back from where it is reason why i'm saying this is when you come here you go to the malls you'll definitely see so many things so many things that will capture your eyes and you just feel like you want to buy okay and here when you come this this thing that we always see like they are selling like 20 dirham they're selling like 50 dirham you just feel it's it's little money you know 50 20 what is this so you just feel like buying and buying and buying and if you don't have cash if you don't have any currency from here you have your atm card with you it is a visa card so what do you do you swipe 
wherever you go you swipe wherever you go you swipe by the end of your contract you will have less money you will have nothing because you've been using your money just anyhow so if you happen to have a bank account it has an atm card forget about it and if you have it just make sure that you minimize the way you use it whenever you go out don't take your visa card with you because it will mess you up a big big time so you should have a bank account which doesn't even have atm card that is better because you can only access the account when you are in the country and when you are at the counter because you cannot go to withdraw at the atm card that is the best thing about it and again i always advise there are bank accounts that they don't need atm card you can only withdraw over the counter and also there are accounts whereby they will limit you like you cannot withdraw every time even when you're back in the country to limit you like you cannot withdraw every every now and then but you can only withdraw three times a year and that account you can withdraw free of charge it doesn't have monthly charges but it has an income like you'll be getting like some extra change not change like it's an interest that you'll be getting of the kind of amount that you have in your bank account if i make sense not much money but when you multiply like when you had that small small amount every month by two years like it's something it's because it's something that you didn't want not put to your account it will you'll have like some added cash so that is the benefit of it and every time i talk about it i think every bank they have this kind of account account whereby you will have it no atm it will limit you from using it and also you'll be able like to know if i withdraw today i cannot withdraw again tomorrow until this particular time at least even when you go back home at least you'll know how to use your money well so reasons why i always say that is just make sure that you have something for yourself don't just wait to come here then you start struggling like you'll be like i don't have any bank account where will i put my money you know all that stuff and also here you'll struggle because you might come and find your colleagues you might come and find find people who doesn't know how to respect people's things and then you'll end up losing your money so it's always good before you come here work on it go open a bank account it's free to open an account make sure that you open an account when you come here at least it will help you something else i have seen my friend struggle with it and i want to share it with her please don't beat me i know you'll watch this video so something else i want to say for instance like equity bank equity bank for those who are coming from kenya equity bank they have this line sim card equitel this line can mess you up a very very big time it's not bad it's good but this line with the atm card they don't have any difference but now at least the atm card is better because you can only access it when you have the machine to swipe or maybe you want to go to withdraw but now with this one you have it with your phone in your phone you know so anytime you need money you don't just think like you know even if i don't have money here i have it in my account and you have the access to it directly in your phone so what will you do you will end up withdrawing it you will end up sending it wherever you want to send so you will have a lot of money like you will have a lot to do with that cash so please anytime you have cash is that time like you just feel like you want to do this you want to do this you want to do that which is not bad but please make sure you do your calculations when you get your money divide it divide it and whenever you divide it just make sure that you will not forget to put your savings aside so i think i've spoken a lot maybe i am sleepy i don't know if i'm sleepy or what but i had just kind of a long day i'm kind of tired i hope that i have not repeated myself in this if i have then i will check it tomorrow and maybe do another one and please just make sure that you follow what i said and you will be in a better place maybe in two years or three years or four years to come so thank you so much for watching let me see you in my next video i'm actually sleepy goodbye and see you